next one is a x n is equals to a power of n u minus of n minus of n, right? And here its z transform is x z is equals to n is equals to minus infinite to infinite x n z power minus of n. Here u minus of n minus of n is there. It means it is defined for the left side of the imaginary axis. That is left side of the n is equals to zero. So that count will start from n is equals to minus one because it is a discrete signal. And for the positive right, uh, right sided signal, we start from n is equals to zero. And left sided signal containing the minus of n will start from the minus of one because we can't take any values between 0 and minus 1 because all the uh, discrete function can have the values of n for the integer values only right it can't take as a 0 0.1 0 0.2 so for x uh, un we are taking from n is equals to 0 to infinite n is equals to 0 1 2 3 4 and up to infinite and for u minus of n we are taking minus n minus of n we are taking from the minus n is equals to minus 1 to the left up to minus of infinite. So, by the definition, this u minus of n minus of n will be 1 for n is equals to minus 1 to infinite. Right? So, just write n is equals to minus 1 to n. n is equals to minus 1 to minus infinity, this side, and a power of n, u minus of n, this particular part will be 1 and z power minus of n so just expand this one a power minus of 1 z 1 plus a power of second minus of 2 z power of 2 plus a power minus of 3 z 3 up to where it is up to infinite right now a inverse z power 1 plus a inverse z power 2 plus a inverse z power of 3 plus it is up to infinite. Now, because it is again a infinite geometric progression series, sum of geometric progression series, so sum of geometric progression up to infinite is sum of geometric progression series up to infinite is a upon 1 minus of r in this case a is equals to a power minus of a is first term and r is a common term so when we divide this by this then r become a minus of 1 and z now finally the sum up to infinite will be a inverse z upon 1 minus a inverse z and here it will be finally by using this you will get xz is equals to finally it will come the transform of this particular part will be minus of z upon z minus of a. Okay. The answer will be minus z upon z minus of a. But here the sign for ROC will be ROC. So just like the Laplace transform, the ROC of the system is defined, uh, is totally depend upon the plus of n or the minus of n. For plus of n, we will take the ROC outside of the circle and for minus of n, we will take the ROC inside of the circle. So just take the pole of this function, the pole is z is equals to a. So the ROC will be inside of the circle. That means mod of z will be less than a or we can say that inside of circle, inside of circle mod of z is equals to a. And diagrammatically we can define it as this is the mod of a circle mod of z is equals to a that means its center is at 0 0 and radius is a right and it
its ROC will lies here and that means what ROC lies inside of circle that means the jet transform of this function the jet transform of xn is equals to a power n u minus of n minus 1 is defined only for the values which are lesser than a right and if the values which are greater than a the, ROC, uh, the jet transform will not be defined practically right so that is the way how to find out the jet transform of both the two important functions.